Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 34 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 33 before going ahead with part 34. Let us now study angle of contact. What is angle of contact? It is the angle at which a liquid interface meets a solid surface. So here we will basically study the interaction between a liquid interface and a solid surface. So there is always an angle which the, sol with the liquid interface makes with a solid surface. Let us suppose generally it is denoted by theta. Now different the angle of contact is different at interfaces of different pairs of liquids and solids. So what will be the angle of contact or the magnitude of angle of contact depends upon the material which constitutes the interface. That is it is different for every different pair of solid and liquid. Now if you take a real life example you would have seen a droplet of water on a lotus leaf. If you see this, this water droplet has a surface which is in contact with this solid surface. With the leaf, surface of the leaf is the solid surface and this is the liquid surface. So this is the surface of contact. So at this surface of contact, the liquid surface makes some angle with the solid surface. So that angle is known as the angle of contact which is generally denoted by theta. Now what is the significance of angle of contact I and mean, why do we need angle of contact? Angle of contact determines whether a liquid will spread on the surface of a solid or it will form droplets. So I hope you understand the difference between spread and droplets. If you see when you pour water on say a lotus leaf, how does the water look like or how, what shape does the water take? when it falls on the lotus leaf it takes the form of a droplet but there are many substances where when you pour water let us suppose you pour water on a piece of cloth it will not form droplets it will just go and spread over the cloth and cloth will get wet so what is the factor on which it depends whether the water will spread on the solid surface or it will form a droplet that is basically de determined by the angle of contact how if the angle of contact is obtuse, then a droplet is formed. Obtuse means the angle which is greater than 90 degrees. On the contrary, if the angle of contact is acute, then the water will form a spread. So this is the point which you need to remember. If the angle of contact is obtuse, it will form a droplet. And if it is acute, it will spread on the surface of the solid. Now let us understand it with the help of this diagram. Here we have both the scenarios. In the first scenario, it forms a droplet. In the second scenario, we see that it spreads over the surface. Now, how is this angle determined? Which is this angle that we exactly look at? This is my solid surface. This is the liquid droplet and this is air. Right? So, when I say solid liquid interface, which is the solid liquid interface? This line. This is the line which joins the solid and the liquid surface. So, this is basically SL, that is solid liquid interface. So, when I talk of solid air interface, it is in this direction. As you can see, this is solid, this is air. So, this is solid air interface. Now the third one is liquid air interface. So this is liquid, this is air. So obviously this would be the liquid air interface. So here we have chosen this point. You can choose any point. If you want, you can choose this point of contact also. So even there also you will get the same result. So in this case, if you see that the angle which the liquid air interface makes with the solid liquid interface, that is theta, this theta is greater than 90 degrees. That is an obtuse angle. So in this case, a droplet is formed. That is when a droplet is formed, when a liquid hits the surface of a solid and it forms a drop, then the angle of contact, that is the angle which the liquid makes with the solid surface, that angle is obtuse. Similarly, in case of a spread, here you see a spread is formed. In this case, there is no droplet. The water just spreads over the solid surface. 
In this case, you see that this angle here also, this is solid liquid interface, this is solid air interface and this is liquid air interface. The angle which it forms with the solid surface is acute angle that is lesser than 90 degrees. So the point which you need to remember here is whenever angle of contact is less than 90 degree, the water or the fluid spreads on the solid surface. When the angle of contact is greater than 90 degree, the liquid or the fluid forms a drop or a droplet over the solid surface. Now, have you given this thing a thought that why is it that all the drops and bubbles are always spherical in shape? As we discussed, thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.